In this tutorial, we are going to learn about IP addresses, ports, and sockets. An IP address is an address that can be used to identify a machine to interact with. When you send a letter through the post office, you need to know the address of the building that your letter will be sent to. The same applies in networking. When you send data, you need to know the IP address for where to send the data. When using TCP, if you want to connect to a machine, send data to a machine, or receive data from a machine, you need to know the IP address of that machine. What is a port? When a packet of data is sent, it will contain the following information. It will contain an IP address for the source, the port for the source, as well as an IP address for the destination and the port for the destination. We understand why we would need the source and destination IP address, but why would we need the port? The inclusion of the port has multiple purposes. The main purpose is so that the machine can identify which application this data is related to. Without the inclusion of the port, an application would not be able to identify if a packet was meant for that specific application or for a different application on that machine. The last thing we are going to cover is what is a socket. In TCP, a socket is a combination of an IP address and port used for a connection. UDP does not have any actual connections, so a single socket can be used for every connection in UDP, but we will cover that in the future. Therefore, in TCP, each connection will have a socket dedicated to it on the server. This concludes our review of what is an IP address, a port, and a socket. In the next video, we will take a look at the differences between Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6.